Hello guys! So may bagong ino-offer si Tony, credit builder na loan. Dapat bang mag-accept tayo ng oras dito? Kasi after all, Tonic is legit. It's a new bank that's registered and monitored by Banko Sentral ng Pilipinas. Is it for you? Yun yung malalaman mo sa video na to. Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. It's Ate Red here at today, legit naman yung pag-uusapan natin. And this time, yung pag-uusapan natin ay si Tony, which is a new bank na nag-offer ng iba't ibang loan products. So consider subscribing to my channel because dito siniset natin yung mga tamang expectations about loan apps and I'm going to try my best to be very objective. This video is not sponsored. It is based on my personal experience. Today, si Tonic naman, which of course, no question about it, it's legit. First new bank daw in the Philippines. But is it good? I'll tell you more about it. Sa end ko na, isisingit yung aking mga personal things na masasabi about Tonic. So, Tonic is legit. First Neo Bank in the Philippines, syempre licensed and monitored by Banko Central. 100% digital siya means fast daw. Baka naman fast decline. Loans have never been easier. No credit history and collateral. No problem. Get fast free. Fast free ba talaga? With minimal docs required. Anyway, if you wanna see a step-by-step -step process ng pag-apply or pagkaroon ng account dito kay Tonic, and my first experience sa pag-apply ng loan dito kay Tonic, mm, 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 mm. you can check this video at yun yung first encounter ko with Tonic. I was previously checking my video on YouTube and that video is about Bill East. Which, no question, guys. Bill East, napaka-inclusive. Legit na legit siya. So, sabi niya, meron daw siyang credit builder loan. Nagpunta muna ako sa kanyang website because I'll tell you why later on. Build credit for your financial ever after. Para ba siya sa lahat? Si Tonic, uh, you can download it from Google Play Store or the App Store. So, it's a bank, digital bank, na nag-offer ng iba't ibang loan products. And kasama na dito si Credit Builder Loan. Start small, huh? score big. No immediate need for a loan, no problem. Establishing a good history today sets the stage for future financial benefits. Helping you secure better deals when it's time for those big life moments. Mm. Yung credit builder loan na to daw ay makakatulong sa pag-boost ng credit history mo para later on, approve ka na sa ibang mga loans na maaari mo or pwede mo, gusto mong applyan in the future. Your Tonic account is key to easy credit building. Regular payments, saving with a stash, and everyday transactions can all contribute to your credit score. This means you'll be eligible for the loan you need when you need it. Sabi naman, actually, to be honest, nagbibigay ng ganitong service. But let's continue. Secure your financial future. Take the first step toward, towards a strong financial future. Start building your credit with us and ready for whatever comes next. Is it really for you? Is it really for everybody? Let's continue. So let's make credit history together. And dami niyang marketing, blah, 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 pa -uto. You might not get your loan approval on your first try. But don't worry. By using your Tonic account. Regularly, you can build it simply through regular payment transfers. Wawa. Topping up, saving with a stash. Download the, the Tonic app, mag, app, mag save ka doon, blah, 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 blah. The same thing you do with other loan apps, digital banks, and e-wallets. Talaga yung special dito kay Tonic. And the question is, is it for everybody? Eligibility na tayo. Sino eligible? 23 to 58 years old. Filipino nationality, Philippine resident, valid ID, Tonic savings account, minimal requirements. Ando na, conditions apply na. At dapat, my valid taxpayer identification number. <laughs> Basta bank yung ina-applyan mo ng loan, importante talaga yan. Ano yung mga IDs na tinatanggap niya? PhilSys, EPhil, Philippine Passport, Driver's License, Unified Multipurpose ID, Social Security ID, Professional Regulation, Commission Identification Card, and Postal ID. Yung card type. Eligible ka na. Filipino citizen residing in the Philippines? 23 to 58. So, kung 60 ka na, hindi ka na pwede. Uh -oh. Presently employed. Presently employed. And have a valid ID. So, kung self-employed ka or housewife, nagtatanggap ng remittance, freelancer, hindi ka na pwede dito. Hindi naman pala inclusive tong si Tony. Choosy siya, guys. I, this is also the reason hindi ko na nagagamit si Tendo Pay kasi ever since si Tendo, Tendo Pay naging associated with Tonic, which is very choosy, wala na. Wala nang silbi yung Tendo Pay ko kahit na meron sana akong 21 na credit limit. Tonic, eh, uh, 
unfair ka naman. Anyway, so, para daw sa mga employed, then let's continue kasi meron po siyang credit builder. Meron po siyang calculator. So, you can borrow from 5,000 pesos to 20,000 pesos and this daw, regularly paying on time, will help you build your credit history. Do you really need Tonic to do that for you? Anyway, so guys, 5,000 daw yung minimum, 20,000 yung maximum, and 6... 9, 12 yung terms. If you borrow 5,000 and you pay, you go with 6 months, your monthly payments will be 1,078 and kung nasa 9 months ka naman, yung 5,000 is 79,763 and 5,000 12 months, 660. Mukha siya magaan. Kung doon na naman sa 20,000 pesos at 12 months, siya babayaran na sa 2,642.45 lang siya. Scroll down. For a loan or for a company na napaka-choosy, ang higpit ng requirements niya compared with others, mataas yung interest niya kasi nasa 4.82 siya. For a company na napaka-choosy, 4.82 is too high. Bill is nga, which accept those na nagtatagap ng remittance, accepts housewife, accepts freelancers and students for as long as makapag-present lang ng proof na may tinatanggap every month. 4.10 lang yung kanyang effective interest. E si Tonic ang higpit. Dapat employed. Pero bakit 4.80? And Billis does the same. Billis can also help you build your credit history. Kung hindi man si Billis, there are others. Andiyan naman si Revy Credit na mas mababa yung interest. This is not really the best. So kung hindi ka qualified dito, don't worry. There are other options. Meron pa siya mga pay hinga, like a payment holiday na kung sakaling alanganin ka, you can apply for um, payment holiday. Like, wag ka muna magbayad ngayon. Subject to bank approval, of course. And these are the requirements. And also, may mga, syempre, there are also certain conditions para pumayag si bank ng ganyan. So, sadly, Tonic is not for everyone. Again, if you want to see a step-by-step -step process kung mag mag paano magkaroon ng Tonic account, because after all, with Tonic, you can have time deposit na easy access. You can also save na medyo mataas yung interest. Kung gusto mo lang, then you can check this video. But, but ka naman magsisave dito kung hindi ka naman pala eligible na magkaroon ng loan. There are other digital banks that are just as good. For example, CIMBPH na merong personal loan at may, meron din siyang Revy Credit, that's easier na makapasa kaysa dito sa in-offer ni Tonic. And also, we have Maya Credit, Maya Bank that offers Maya Credit. Mataas-taas lang nga yung service niya, but it is inclusive. Mas marami yung pwedeng maka-avail sa ganitong service. Then again, guys, nasa inyo po yan. If you're qualified, then um, good for you. But unfortunately, Tonic is not for everyone. Nasa user pa rin yan. After all, it's legit. It's registered. It's just that choosy siya when it's not really perfect. I would go with Bill East pa rin and have a savings account somewhere else. I hope meron kayo natutunan sa video na to guys. I, again, it's totally up to you. Yung importante is you know what to expect and um, let me know what you think. See you on my next vlog. Bye!